Kia has come such a long way in recent years and the Sportage has to be its best model yet. Just look at it, stunning isn't it? I mean, there's more to like about it than just its eye-catching design. For starters, it has a really big boot and there's no lip for you to have to lift things over. If you do need more space, of course, the rear chairs do fold down and the releases are actually on the back of them so it's dead easy to do. With the seats flat, you'll notice they don't go completely level, but there's no step between the boot area and the back of the seat, so you can just slide items straight to the back. There's easily enough room here in the back of the Sportage to carry three adults in comfort. You'll notice we've got decent headroom and loads of knee room, but the key thing is this, the floor is almost completely flat, so if you get the centre seat, you needn't worry too much. Have I? I'd still rather be in the front. So if you give me a hand, I'll show you what else is good about this Kia. There's lots of stowage cubbies. There's room for your rubbish in the central armrest. The door bins are large enough to hold big bottles. And the glove box is chilled by the air conditioning. Speaking of which, standard kit is generous across the entire range, as well as air con. All cars also get cruise control, Bluetooth connectivity for your mobile phone, and ESP anti-skid control. It's very easy to find an ideal seating position and there's lots of adjustment in the height of the driver's seat so it doesn't matter if you're small, you can still see over the bonnet. As for quality, there's some nice soft touch materials surrounding the dash and everything feels really well screwed together. There's no surprise really that Kia has the confidence to give this car a seven year warranty. You can get the Kia with a choice of efficient engines, the pick of the range being the 1.7 litre diesel, as it comes with stop-start technology, which helps boost economy. Okay, so it might be quite big, but the Sportage is still easy to drive around town. The controls, they're nice and light. That makes it quite simple to navigate through traffic. You get a good view over other cars because of the raised seating position, and of course the jacked up suspension means you don't have to worry about speed humps. But the tough looks aren't just for show, because as well as a front-wheel drive model, you can also get a 4x4 version of the Sportage if you want to go off-roading. It comes with a diff lock if the going gets really tough. And there's hill descent control, which ensures you get down a slope safely. Out on the open road, the Sportage performs well. It's got pretty decent handling because the suspension's quite firm, which means there's hardly any body roll through corners for such a tall vehicle. There's lots of confidence-inspiring grip as well. However, the steering does feel a little bit numb, and as a result, it's not as much fun to drive as, say, a Ford Cougar, and that brings me on to the car's downsides. And one is that at higher speeds, you do get a little bit of wind whistle from the bluff sides. Also, I do find that the ride gets a bit jiggly over rougher surfaces and as a result you can feel your fatty bits kind of wobbling about. Really though, all these niggles are quite minor and easy to forgive when you realise just how much the Kia Sportage costs. Well, it doesn't cost considering what you actually get for your money. In fact, we like it so much here at Car Buyer that we've decided to crown it our Car of the Year for 2011 and you can't get a much better recommendation than that.